Hi, my name is Simone and I am a 3D generalist. Uh, I'm a 3ds Max expert and I'm here to talk about Typhoon Masterclass. In order to work in advertising or in motion graphics, I think it's mandatory for generalists to know at the very least the basis for rigid body simulations, soft body simulations, cloth. Uh, this knowledge, uh, which I um, dig just for pure passion, uh, has been uh, inestimable in all the production I work for. Uh, mainly advertising, but I, I work also in uh, architectural visualization and um, I started my work as a generalist in a CGI documentary for BBC uh, Dinosaurs. So Typhlow is a plugin for 3ds Max and it's everything that Particle Flow should have been. It's a um, particle system, really simple, really powerful. Um, it's being created and it, it gets updated um, weekly by, basically by a genius 3D artist and a developer, uh, Tyson Ibel. In this lesson, uh, after a small introduction about Typhlow and the main operators, uh, we're gonna dissect a couple of scenes that I created in the previous weeks. Um, one is uh, a Transformers-like effect uh, about uh, assembling and disassembling uh, any, object, any 3D object in a procedural way. And the other one is the replica of the cell splitting tutorial, the famous cell splitting tutorial made in Houdini. Um, I redid it in uh, Typhlow and uh, we'll see how to just recreate it and uh, what are the difference in workflows. We're also going to talk about the basics um, of, of rigid body simulations and uh, also how to use Typhlow in a more uh, rule-based way and we're gonna go through a nice exercise about surface force, uh, spheres crawling over a surface and how to fill the voids and uh, we're also gonna learn how to make stuff grow over surfaces like um, flowers or, or grass or whatever you want and um, we're gonna learn how to make a procedural knitting system and, um, and in the end we're gonna uh, explore different uh, soft body methods, uh, different ways to obtain a soft body simulation. At the end of the lesson you will know uh, new workflows, uh, new tips and tricks uh, that you can apply in your everyday job, even if it's uh, not motion graphics or visual effects, but even just modeling, for example. Mm -hmm.